comes all in the online classes of Pressfield Junior College Rajmachi Karar. Today we will learn the concept basic of information technology. So first upon we will see the definition what is IT. IT means information technology. It is the use of computers to store, retrieve, transmit and manipulate data and information. Why we use the IT? For the purpose of storing of data, then retrieving of data. Retrieving means to access the data. Then transmission of data, transmission of data from one entity to another entity. And manipulation of data or information means to manipulate data or information means to perform different type of operations on data means to store data, retrieve data, addition of data, deletion of data, updation of data, rename of information. So these are the important parts of the manipulation of data or information. The another concept is IT can be used for information processing, for communication purpose and for problem solving task. So it is the refers to the creation, gathering, processing, storage and delivery of information. It consists of some important points like it process on raw data, it will be into useful information. Then after processing, it will be recycle processed information and use it as another processing steps. Then this is the basic task of information technology. Then information technology also consists of some system. Then what is mean by system? System means a group of interdependent items that interact regularly to perform a task. For performing some task, system is consisting of a group of interdependent items. So this is the basic concepts of information technology. And nowadays IT is useful in all the fields. Then the next point is data. So what is data? This is the basic concepts of IT. So what is data? Data is a collection of facts and information is how you understand those facts in context and data is unorganized while the information is a structured or organized. Means data is collection of facts, numbers or text and after processing on data information being created and this data can be processed by computer. So today's organizations can have accumulating vast and growing amount of data in different type of formats or data are available in the organizations in different formats or different databases. There are number of databases or data are available into the organizations. So this includes operational or transactional data such as sales, cost, inventory, payroll and accounting. So these are the types of data. Then data is represented with the help of characters such as alphabets like capital A to Z, then small a to Z, then digits like 0 to 9 or special characters like plus means addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, less than, greater than, equal to, etc. So all types of characters are represented by the data or it will represent the data. Then the next concept is information. So what is information? It is uncountable noun while the data is mass noun. The word information is used with a singular verb while data is used with a plural verb. So data is unorganized manner and information is uh, in structured manner or organized manner. So it is processed data which includes the data that possesses context, relevance and purposes. So it also involves manipulation of raw data. Manipulation means to perform different type of operation on the data. Then. So what is the difference between data and information? So finally data is a raw material for data processing and data relates to facts, events and transactions and information is a data that has been processed in a such a way as to meaningful to the person who receive it. It is anything that is communicated. So 
So, this is the difference between data and information. Data means it is a raw fact or raw material and after processing on data information being created. So, there are some various concepts are used under the IT. So, first of all IT consists of the main concept is computer. So, all of you know about the computer. What is computer? The word computer is a derived from a Latin word computer which means to calculate, to count, to sum up or to think together. So, this is the computer. So, let us see the definition of computer. It is an electronic device, all of you know. A computer is an electronic device which accepts the input from the user, process it according to the instruction given to it and gives the required result in the form of output. This is a computer. So, it is a programmable machine or it is an electronic device which can be designed as a sequentially or automatically carry out the sequence of arithmetic or logical operations. Means computer is an electronic device which accepts the input from the user. The input given by the user to the computer then computer process on that input as per the instructions given by the user and then after processing or after completion of process it gives the required result in the form of output this is a computer so there are three main parts of computers input unit then central processing unit and output unit so this is the basic structure or basic components of computers then computer system so, computer system can process data, images, audio, video and graphics. Then, computer performs the five major computer operations or functions. It accepts the data or instructions by way of input. Means, input unit. This is the function of input units. We have already said that there are three main components of computer or computer system which is input unit central processing unit and output unit. So, input unit it accept the data or instructions by the way of input. Then it accepts instruction data from the outside of the world. Then it stores the data. Then it can process data as per the requirement by the user. User gives some requirement to the computer system and as per the requirement of user it can process on the data. After the completion of uh, after the completion of processing concept, then it gives the result in the form of output. Then lastly, it controls all the operations inside the computer. So this is the working of computer systems. Okay. So this there are some various IT concepts are available into the computer. Thank you.